Hello po, ako po si Shell and today I'm going to share what I usually do in my job here in Japan as an English teacher. So first of all, I usually prepare from 10am. So nagigising ako ng mga 10am to prepare. And since summer na dito sa Japan, it's really hot. So nagda-double sunscreen talaga ako. Kasi feeling ko mas mainit ata dito kaysa dyan sa Pinas. And uh, before 12 p.m., nag uh, light breakfast lang ako. And yan, ready na ako. So, from my house to the station, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes on foot. So, maglalakad pa tayo going to the station. Grabe yung init talaga dito sa Japan pag summer. So, ito yung usual na nadadaanan ko pag pupunta ako ng work. So, usually ang makikita mo lang is mga bahay. So, dito sa Japan may mga iba't ibang klaseng bahay at iba-iba din yung prices. So, ito uh, ang tawag nila dito apartment. So, usually yung mga four-story buildings, ang tawag lang nila dito is apartment. Ito yung lumang style na apartment nila dito sa Japan. Mukha siyang maliit. And ito yung uh, itsura ng first floor nila. So, ito namang isa. Ito yung bagong bahay. Parang compact ang tawag nila dito. Kasi parang isa at saka dalawa lang yung kasya. Mukha siyang maliit sa labas. Pero sa, sa loob, ma, very organized yung pagkakagawa. Ito naman yung traditional houses talaga nila dito sa Japan. Ito malaki. Ito naman yung isa. Ito yung parang old style. So, ito naman ang tawag nila dito sa mga building na malalaki. It's mansion, which is equivalent naman sa Pilipinas is condominium. Yan, malapit na ako sa station, finally. Wala lang. So, dito sa station nila, hindi ka talaga mababoard kasi tignan nyo. Pag pupunta ka, may, if mahilig ka talaga sa mga small toys, parang ganyan, hindi ko alam kung tawag dyan, pwede kang maglaro. O di ba ang cute? And pag nagutom ka, mayroon din vending machine ng ice cream. Pag gusto mong uminom, yan, mayroon mga vending machine and lockers kung ayaw mong magbitbit. Yan, kung kailan mo magpa-picture, yan, self-picture. ATM at saka mga brochure and if magugutom ka nandyan ang kanilang convenience store. And dahil late na ako, kailangan ko nang tumakbo. Gosh, sorry. May, medyo shaky yung video kasi tumatakbo ako at, at this, this moment. Kasi pag namiss ko yung train ko, kailangan kong mag-wait ng at least 10 minutes, eh malilate na ako sa work ko. Yan. At dahil hindi siya rush hour, Yes, we have to find a seat kasi we have to sit at least like 10 minutes, 8 minutes yan before tayo punta ng work. Sa kanila dito, pag nagmamadali ka, pwede kang gumamit ng stairs or kung tamad ka naman, sa left, yung mga taong hindi nagmamadali. Pag sa right, yung mga taong nagmamadali, nakatulad ko. So, we have to use the right line. Ayan, so kailangan nating magmadali para hindi tayo malate. Kasi dito sa Japan, bawal ang malate. So before 5 to 10 minutes, dapat nakalagin ka na para hindi ka considered late. So before we start our lesson, we usually clean our own room. So before pandemic pa, we, we actually clean our own rooms para pagdating ng mga bata talagang malinis na talaga siya. And here in Japan, cleanliness is very important. So after cleaning, I usually go to my desk and prepare my materials and books and everything. And also, we usually have uh, stand-up meetings with our Japanese staff. So after that, yeah, guys, bawal ng mag cellphone. So I have to prepare and see you later after my break. Ayan, it's dinner time. Actually, hindi siya dinner, pero usually ang break namin is from 3 to 4 p.m. And we usually eat this time kasi wala na kaming break time ng 7 p.m. And today, I choose McDonald's para ipakita sa inyo kung ano yung difference. But I think wala siyang pagkakaiba. Mas, ma mas malaki nga lang yung sizes and mas mahal yung prices dito. During working hours, si Bawal mag-phone at mag-video. Kaya pahapiyaw lang yung ginawa kong video today about my work. Yan, tapos na ako sa work and usually natatapos ako ng mga 10pm and yeah, actually closing time na ng mga stores. And nakakarating ako sa house almost 10.30 na to 11. Ayan, so ginagutom talaga ako usually every night kaya 
kumakain ako ng mga small things and today since it's very special we're going to eat my favorite Korean chicken and also I'm gonna share some information sa mga nagtatanong dito sa Japan may mga iba't ibang klaseng English teacher yung una is yung Ikaiwa teacher which is they usually work for a private English language schools like me so usually we start from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. And yung isa naman is ALT, yung assistant language teacher. Usually they are working in a public and sometimes private schools across Japan. And they usually work for elementary, junior, and high school. And ito yung ina-apply natin dyan sa Pilipinas, yung ALT. And yung next naman is business English teacher. Ito yung mga teacher na galing sa dispatch company to corporation. So, they usually teach English sa mga staff and one-to-one -one or group. And the next one is University Language Assistant, which is for university teacher. Pero, they usually need some uh, requirements. Yan po. And, yeah, I will try to make another video for your questions. That's all for today. Bye-bye!